Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Reaper Versa Camp Axe. This thing's cool. Like, I love that it has a number of features built into it. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through everything that you get with this axe and why this is such a great pickup for such a little amount of money. It's actually really budget friendly. So if you wanna learn more about this axe and see all the features and everything, stay tuned. guys so as I mentioned in the intro today I'm talking about the Reaper Versa camp axe this little thing is cool it's about 10.75 inches long uh, the blade itself is about three inches it has a bunch of built-in features which I'm gonna walk you through here in a second um, but first I want to start with the ballistic nylon sheath that comes with it so you do have a buttonable so you can unbutton this and then you know attach it to something hang it from something your belt or whatever you'd like button it back on there all around the edges of it too these are little buttons too so you could you know actually button and attach this to get it all to cinch tight but then it does just have a little button on the front to uncover the axe pull that off there's the blade so again it's about three inches long the overall length again is 10.75 inches but here's some of the cool stuff that is built into this little tiny axe for a really budget price um, again three inch blade it has some built-in sockets on it. So basically 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 16 millimeter. So you've got a number of sizes. So if you happen to have one of those and you needed something because you didn't have sockets or wrenches or anything with you, you could use this. Um, it also has a bottle opener built into it. So that's pretty nice at the end of the day, if you need a beer, boom, bottle opener. It does have a cast hammer on the end of it, which I love because there are a ton of times when you're at camp and you need to hammer in some you know, stakes for your tent or your awning and I don't have anything, so I'm using the back end of an ax or something, like a big full-size ax that's just kind of unwieldy and hard to use. Um, also on the other end, it has a pry bar slash nail puller, so it actually gets a little thin on the inside of that there, so that you could you know, get under the head of a nail and then pry a nail up. So again, if you're hammering stuff, you've got the answer to removing those nails if you needed to. Again, it feels really good in the hand. It's got a good size to it, so if you're using this for light chopping duties at camp or you know, debranching, a stick or something to make a hot dog cooking stick or a marshmallow cooking stick this would be a perfect little tool for it but again i love the fact that they combine so many features into this one small package because then it means i don't have to bring a hammer with me because i've got this axe i don't have to bring you know a 10 a 13 a 16 if i have those in their common sizes for stuff i use i've got a backup right here that i could use for that a bottle opener you don't necessarily need a separate bottle opener if you've got this axe i love that all that stuff is kind of combined into this one small package and again with all the reaper stuff i've i've had a few of their knives and axes and things like that and they're just really good quality for a really inexpensive price um, this stuff is made of four millimeter thick 420 stainless steel so it's good high quality steel um, that you can sharpen over and over again and it's just nice stuff again even if it doesn't last as long as a super expensive knife or axe it's an eighth a tenth a twentieth of the price of some of those so for me it's a no-brainer this thing makes a ton of sense to pick up if you're a budget-minded camper overland or anything like that so again i hope that that gave you a little bit more info on this axe i hope that that gave you answers to some of your questions if you're looking for something like that, I will put a link in the description down below. Definitely go click through that if you're looking to get one. Um, if the video was helpful, click that like button. If you're not already and you're looking for camping, overlanding, gear reviews, do-it-yourself modifications, that kind of thing, this is the channel for you. Make sure to click that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. Also in the description below are links to Facebook, Instagram. I have a Patreon page. So wherever you want to come hang out, I'd love to have you. There's also a newbie overlanders group on Facebook, totally free to join. But we keep kind of the riffraff out, the people that are just going to, you know, start meme wars and, and be terrible to people. Those people get kicked out. So it's just a great place to come if you're new to overlanding, you want to ask some questions. So we'd love to have you in that group as well. Um, of course, if you have any experience with this hatchet or you have, you know, thoughts about it, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Um, but again, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. And we will see you guys next week.